Hi, I'm Sam from Barn2. And if you're selling made to order items on WooCommerce, such as fabrics, building materials, tiling, or anything else that you need a measurement from the customer in order to set the price, then you need a measurement pricing calculator for your store. I'll show you an example of this now. Imagine that you're selling curtains, but of course windows come in all shapes and sizes. So you offer custom sizing based on length and width. Essentially, you're charging per square meter or foot, but this option is not available by default in WooCommerce. Furthermore, there's no way for customers to know how much their curtains are going to cost without them doing all the math themselves. So here's where our WooCommerce product options plugin comes in handy. Not only can we add the per square meter or per square foot prices, we can even add the calculator right into the product window so that the customer can see this total price when they input their specified dimensions. And we can modify the formula so that the price is accurate depending on how much we want to charge, whether we want to charge a flat fee for the product plus the fee for the dimensions, or if we just want a price like per square meter, for example. And we can even use other dimensions such as volume. We can have three different length height and width as well, or we can use a variety of other product options which might help if you're selling pizza, for example. So there's really a lot of variations we can use this plugin for, but today I just wanna show you how the measurement pricing calculator works because that's the new feature that we've just released. So as you can see, if I change the dimensions here, the price automatically updates based on the formula that, that we created. And so the customer is able to add this item to their cart immediately and pay the full amount, knowing exactly how much it's going to cost right away. So to get started with this, we do need to install the WooCommerce product options plugin if you wanna join me and play around with this plugin and see how it works for your store. And that's gonna be available on barn2.com. Now, this is supposed to just be a quick video to demonstrate a feature of this plugin, so I'm not gonna go through the installation now. If you do want a little bit of help with the installation, we have documentation on our website, which I will link to. So I'll meet you on the products page in WooCommerce after the installation is complete. From our WooCommerce dashboard, under WooCommerce and products, we're gonna open our product options, which is the new tab that is made when we add this plugin to our site. And from here, you can see I have a bunch of option groups, but I'm gonna go all the way down to curtains and we're gonna edit or manage options. Now here we can set the group name. Of course, we just wanna leave this as curtains and the visibility section here, we can display globally on all products or we can show on specific categories or products, which is what we want to do in this case. Now for inclusions, we have specifically included the made to measure curtains, which is the product that I was demonstrating to you earlier. And we don't need to worry about any categories or exclusions because this product option group is only going to apply to these made to measure curtains for the moment. Now down here in the options, this is where the magic happens. First of all, we need to edit an option for width. So we can create this from scratch by adding the name width, setting it as a number, and leaving the label as width. And of course you can determine if you want them to do the measurements in inches, centimeters, meters, feet, or anything else, that's up to you. But you do have to get the math right in the formula once you've told the customer which measurements to input. For example, if they put in 100 centimeters and you leave the formula calculating for meters, that's gonna leave them with a very high price that they don't wanna pay. So make sure you get the math right. We'll go over that in a minute. Now we're not adding a price for this type because the price is calculated in the formula later. You can also add a description, but this label does the job here. You must set it as required, otherwise the formula won't work properly. And in the advanced settings, we're setting it as a whole number and we don't need a minimum or maximum. And at the moment, the conditional logic should be set up this way. I believe this is just the default. Okay, so we'll close that. 
Now for the length, we're going to do exactly the same thing, except changing the word from width to length. And now this is where we need to do a little bit of math, but I will show you how it works for this particular calculation. And if you need help with other calculations, you can look at our knowledge base for help with these sorts of formulas. So for example, we have the frequently asked questions and troubleshooting and developer documentation, anything you need to help you understand how the plugin works, we've got it here. I'll link that in the description below. Back in our product options, here's our formula and let's see how it looks. So we're going to add this as formula and we're going to change the type to price formula. That's gonna bring up this box down here. Now, this does look pretty complicated, but really we're just adding the width and length multiplied together and inside a bracket. And then we're dividing that whole number by 10,000. Why 10,000? Well, when we added length and width, we asked the customers to enter their dimensions in centimeters, but we're using a price per square meter which is $50 per square meter. So we want to make this number division at the correct value, of course, otherwise the customer will be given the wrong price. And then we're multiplying that whole number, which is inside brackets, by 50, which is our price per meter, and that's going to give us our final price. Now, this is also important, add the price display suffix of per square meter. I'll show you what that looks like here on our made to measure curtains. First of all, before we enter any digits, we have $50 per square meter. This is not available in WooCommerce by default. Normally you would just see a flat number price. So adding this price per square meter is very handy and might be useful across your entire store. Okay, and then down the bottom, you would want to save your changes. And the most important step, you want to test out this plugin. Make sure you got the math right and once again, if you do need a little bit of help, you can always go into our knowledge base or you can ask our great support team for help with any specific formulas you wanna set up. So that's all I wanted to show you in today's video. I hope you learned something new and I hope the WooCommerce product options plugin is something that proves useful for your online store. Before I go, I wanted to let you know about the perfect addition to the product options plugin, and that is the WooCommerce product table. This plugin effortlessly displays all your products in a searchable, filterable table, and comes with some great features, which will make shopping a breeze for your customers. And remember, if you purchase any plugin from Bar2, it always comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Thank you for watching this quick measurement price calculator tutorial. I'm gonna leave you with this video if you would like to see what other things this plugin can do. And let us know in the comments if you'd like to see any other tutorials from us. See you in the next one.